In college at Berkeley, whenever I went to breakfast with my friends, they would always go for the eggs benedict, the veggie omelets, but for me, I only had eyes for the French toast. There was a restaurant pretty close to campus called La Note that had one of the best French toasts I've ever had. It had a really nice and sweet, crisp exterior, and I knew I wanted to replicate something just like that in my own kitchen, but with a twist. So, inspired by the French toast of my dreams, we are going to be making a French toast with an almond butter date caramel. We're going to start by making an almond butter date caramel that is so luscious you will want to drown your entire life in it. But today we're just going to put it on some French toast. Let's start. Added some dates in my blender. We're going to add a little bit of almond butter. The almond butter is going to balance out the sweetness of the dates really nicely. To sweeten this up a little further and to add a little bit more of that caramel undertone, we're going to add some coconut sugar. To make a super luscious and velvety caramel, we're going to add some vanilla almond milk. I'm using vanilla here, but if you don't have a vanilla, if you just have an unsweetened, you can add a little touch of vanilla extract. My blender is truly my kitchen BFF, so now all we're going to do is blend it right up. Caramel will await us on the other end of this. Okay, I think we're looking good. Look at how luscious that is. And of course, a traditional caramel is made by heating sugar up on a stove, but this is my version of a caramel that uses dates. Now you can see why I want to put this over my entire life. Our almond butter date caramel is ready. All it needs now is some French toast, so I'm going to go grab the ingredients to make it. It's time to make our French toast. I've got all of the usual suspects here. My eggs, my cinnamon, my vanilla extract, and I also have some milk. I'm using almond milk here, but you can use your favorite. I'm going to crack two of my eggs into my beautiful little pie dish here. Cute! Perfect. I'm going to whisk my eggs together until you don't see any separation between the yolks and the white. Really putting my entire body into this. <laughs> Whisking eggs, morning workout, perfect. French toast, workout of your day, okay. I'm on board. Okay. This looks nice and smooth. Now I'm gonna add some of my almond milk. Extra. Vanilla extract for me is a must when I'm making French toast. I just love that little extra sweetness, that little essence, really brings it to life. Little pinch of cinnamon now. We want this to be super smooth, super uniform. It's going to be a nice little bath for our slices of bread. I'm gonna add a little coconut oil to my pan, let it melt, and then that's gonna be perfect for me to fry the bread in. Time to dredge our slices of bread in my little mixture here. I'm using sourdough bread here because I love that tangy taste. It's my favorite kind of bread. We're gonna let the bread really soak up that egg mixture. And by the way, French toast is a great use for your stale bread. So if you got any stale bread in your pantry, it's time to make some French toast. Gonna flip this over. Make sure it really soaks up all of that goodness. It smells really good already. Which I know is crazy because we haven't even cooked it. One last step before I cook my French toast. I'm gonna add a little sprinkle of coconut sugar on both sides because I want that really sweet crispness on the exterior.
Look at that. It's going to get some nice color as well. Now we're going straight to my pan. Hmm. You know what? No, I'm adding a little extra sugar on top. So we want to cook these until they're nice and cooked through, golden brown on both sides, about three to five minutes per side. This is a great brunch recipe, a great breakfast recipe, and honestly, a great dinner recipe too. Like, who are we kidding? We can have French toast for dinner. There are no rules. I like pan frying these in coconut oil as well because I think it plays really nicely with that coconut sugar. All right, we are going to flip. You know, I consider myself a patient person, but then when I'm cooking French toast, I'm like, hurry up. Can't wait all day. It's not even that long. I don't know why I'm being so dramatic. Just gonna flip my second piece. Look at that color, looking so golden. Ready for a photo, ready for some caramel, some date caramel. All right, these are looking beautiful. I'm gonna transfer them to my plate. So I'm hungry. Do we think they're ready for their caramel? They're ready. All right. It's thick, it's luscious. I'm gonna be generous here. Nothing wrong with a little thick drizzle. Gonna dip in for some more. I really just went for it. I was trying to be delicate before and now I'm just straight up going for it. I like having a little pool of caramel on the side. It looks really delicious. I'm gonna add some berries. Just to sidle up next to that date caramel, sit on top of it. They kind of stick nicely onto that caramel too. A little powdered sugar. You can't tell me you don't want this. You just can't tell me you don't want it. It looks so pretty. I think one note would be proud. I should probably send them a picture. Maybe I'll slide into their DMs. <laughs> oh, it looks so pretty. The almond butter caramel, while delicious, it is a brown color and so is bread. So by adding pops of color like these berries, that powdered sugar, just really brings all of those colors and flavors to life. I'm going in. I'm immediately overwhelmed, so I don't know where to go. <laughs> okay, okay, here we go. We're going for it. Gonna get a nice little crust. Add a berry. Okay, bon appetit. It's, I need a minute. That date caramel is like the best sub for a maple syrup. It's so much more flavorful, more complex. Those dates and the coconut sugar create this really nice, marriage of sweetness. I love using sourdough here too because it's sour, it's kind of tart. Because it's so fermented, it goes so well with the sweetness of the caramel. The berries really make everything pop. I mean, I'm not trying to have like a French toast off with La Note, but I don't know. I think I might. I think I might. And don't get me wrong, I love maple syrup. Sometimes we like switching it up. I love snacking on dates, they're my favorite thing ever, but this almond butter date caramel really shows how many things dates can do. We just love to date dates, they can do it all. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.